And let's try to get to it quick, because I, I do want this to be straight to the point. This yeah, is the truth honestly, is the put, truth is simple. The truth is quick, man. The truth isn't long winded. It's not uh, it's not boisterous. It's not uh, it's loud. Not, it's not to degrade people. It's not yeah, to manipulate this people. Isn't, this it's isn't not a to, smear to make thing. yourself look better. Nah, man. It's I'm not, not, just, let's tell what happened. Type yeah, of thing. yeah. I, like like I said, my karma is beautiful. My aura is is, is beautiful, man. I'm I'm just here to just let the people know yeah. the, the truth. And only because there has been so many people over the past going on the seventh year right. of our podcast that have been there and mm-hmm. supported, bought fucking tickets, bought Absolutely. subscriptions, and just, and just downloaded We're extremely it, grateful for that. Fucking bootlegged it. I'm appreciated yeah. for it. Like, Absolutely. All <laughs> people of People have just always came out for us. And, you know, I understand when people do things twice a week for however many years, mm-hmm. you become part of their lives and they want Absolutely. answers. And Absolutely. In some cases, I can't tell you everything just because it is personal and legal things to some degree, but mm-hmm. there should be some actual transparency. Oh, no, we're going to get into or, some personal shit. Or some other, well, you we're know. We're going to get into some personal <laughs> shit. Like, I, I, I'm only doing this once. I'm not, a, I'm not one of these guys. You oh, know no, this, I want this to be the end of it. This is yeah, not I'm only, campaign. I'm only doing I'm not this going once. on a press I'm run. Not, yeah, this isn't, I'm not here to smear, smear nobody. I'm not here for that. This is... This is just the truth. This is just not my truth, the truth. I think it's important because motherfuckers like to say, oh, my truth. No, 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 no. This is the truth. This is what happened, what didn't happen. And, you know, again, I I thought we owed it to the fans and the supporters. So here we are. Yeah. And I I did. I had a, a lengthy list. Yeah, your list was kind of crazy. It, it gave well, me anxiety. It was, it was lengthy. Lie. It gave me anxiety, mm-hmm. to be quite honest. I had to chop it down just because when you watch things and, you know, you react. Right. I don't even want to say because emotionally gets a bad rap for the word it is. But I will say emotionally. You react emotionally to certain things, which is fine. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting there writing a thousand different notes on every last thing I disagreed with. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. That never fucking happened. How could you even think that's your perspective on this and that? Right. I was like, that. it doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. Not to say I got over shit or anything like that, but... I wanted to get straight to the point on what shit actually was. Yeah. The only petty moment I will have as far as like just actual truths would be the start of the podcast, which I think is the best way to start this entire thing. Okay. So go ahead. This is, this is where you take the floor. I'm going to, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen and I'm going to laugh and I'm going to, you know, it's going to be quick and then then we can get to right when you can. Got you. Start of the podcast happened. Mm -hmm. According to Joe and everyone else over there, even though this is easily, (laughs) Googleable, if that's a word. It's a word today. Within 30 seconds, mm-hmm. I just popped up on the podcast on episode 20. Right. The original SoundCloud, episode number one, and our SoundCloud is under my email. I set that entire page up on episode one. Mm-hmm. My mans did the artwork in retrospect. Mm-hmm. Not the greatest. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Set up all the artwork, did all the uploads, did everything. And again, I'm not saying this is a big foot. Like any, who, anyone can set up a fucking SoundCloud page. Right. I'm not looking for credit on that type of behalf. Mm-hmm. But to say I popped up on episode 20 is a little weird. Mm-hmm. Super weird. And then to say I wasn't even on your brain, period, when it came to, oh, what I want to do with this podcast. So you sat me down on episode five and said, hey, can you come on this podcast, please? Mm-hmm. I need someone else to talk to. Can't just do the sex thing every time. I got to talk to someone else. Mm-hmm. Bet. Episode six, here I am. But let's fast forward. You came. You came. What, what's, uh, what's your perspective of that? Joe said he had no idea in the world where you were. I had came back to New York. Uh, a former friend of mine had uh, he had signed with the Knicks and uh, we were out in Detroit together mm-hmm. and um, so I was back in the city and Joe he hit me and was like yo I want you to you know come come by the pod and kick it I was like okay cool like I, I swing through and um, came through we had fun time good conversation laughs jokes uh, it was kind of like catching up I hadn't seen him in a while um so it was like catching up and, you know, the energy was, was dope. I remember, I remember when he called you in his kitchen, uh, well, I won't say the town, but in his kitchen uh, from one of his older houses mm-hmm. when we were sitting there trying to go through like, yeah, we need to get a girl, we need to do this and that. Mm-hmm. Nothing really stuck at that point. And he was like, oh shit, I think Maul's in town. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you and I weren't cool, but we had seen each other yeah, around we, type yeah, of definitely, shit definitely. For, mm-hmm. for a couple of years at that point. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh yeah, Maul's fucking hysterical. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Then you came on the show, seemed to stick. Mm-hmm. Did you have plans on stand? Like when you went into that, was did you think it was gonna be a one off? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was. He just wanted to, you know, kick the shit and mm. bust it up, laugh. You know, shit we normally do when we see each other. So yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, we crack some jokes, tell some stories, and you know, 
what I've been doing, where I've been at, and, you know, just catch up. Um, but it was something that stuck, and we had the conversation, I think, maybe two weeks after that. And um, it became a permanent thing. Then it started to really kind of catch some type of wave. Granted, it, w- it was definitely doing good numbers from Rip mm-hmm. um, as far as first podcasts go. I- I'll never say otherwise there. It, mm-hmm. it definitely came out the gate. You know, Joe was polarizing. This shit, this shit is, was a good little thing we had going. I get a call from Elliot Wilson. Elliot says, hey, let's go to lunch. I've known Elliot outside of my relationship with Joe, outside of my relationship, anything to do with the podcast. I've just known Elliot. I think everybody Elliot, knows Elliot. Elliot's my guy. <laughs> Elliot's an amazing guy. Yeah. And Elliot will just hit you up and say, yo, let's grab a drink and let's have, let's have lunch. Right. So I said, bet. We go and have lunch. Don't really talk about podcasting specifically, but just maybe the overall genre and what's going on. He has a title and just shooting the shit about music because Elliot and I have similar interests. Mm-hmm. Towards the end of the lunch, he said, hey, you know, I'm over at title full time now. I could probably give y'all like an offer on, on some type of podcasting thing. Mm-hmm. So I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear about that. Mm-hmm. Elliot says some numbers, not, you know, actual deal points or anything like that, but just, you know, what he thinks ballpark number, mm-hmm. friends talking mm-hmm. on what he thinks he could do per month. Right. It's early in podcasting. I say bet. So I called Joe. I said, hey, I just had a really interesting lunch with Elliot. Okay. What happened? I said, oh, title. They're trying to put together this little podcast division. This is what's going on. This is what they think they could offer per month. Real casual, real regular. Never said yes or no to anything. I was just like, yeah, cool. I'll get back with the guys and we'll talk. Mm -hmm. Joe flips the fuck out on that phone. Yo, what the fuck would you ever talk about this fucking podcast to anybody? Like flipping the fuck out. I said, Joe, I was talking to Elliot, who's a friend, and I didn't say anything, but okay, I'll talk with the guys. Right. Could have been a stranger on the street saying, yo, give you out two million tomorrow. Right. I'm gonna go talk to the guys. I'll go talk to the guy. Never said anything. Never went that. Was met with just a flip out. Right. Couple weeks later, Joe takes us outside of the Total War studio. Yo, so I got this title deal <laughs> and said the numbers, and then the exact same numbers, the exact same thing. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I think we cool. had, did we, did we have an argument that day about that? Was that that? No, I, you guys say that was about the title deal, but I don't think that argument was about the title deal. Okay. I think it has something to do with Highline Ballroom or something. I didn't think the yes, title, I don't think did. the title was, deal it was, was ever it was a live argument. show. It was a live show. Because the title deal, you and I thought was cool. Like, cause I think it was for six months. It wasn't like some yeah. crazy deal. It was like, yeah, all right, maybe we'll get some bread yeah, and then move the fuck on. Granted, was it a good decision to probably turn it down? Sure. Whatever. Right. No one's ever mad about it right. <laughs> type thing. So once those deals start coming in, I'm thinking, well, we should probably just start having contract conversations. Cause when we were thinking about taking the title deal, Joe and I did sit down and talk about percentages off that monthly title number. Right which happened. I don't care what you think, what your narrative is. This all happened. Mm -hmm. We turned down the title deal. I I think, well, we should just have that conversation anyways, because we're starting to get real offers, not just little ads here and there, like $1,500, $2,500. Getting actual offers. Are they Mm -hmm. crazy offers? No, but they're offers. So we should just do this because we're all friends. Let's just get a a, a binding contract between all of us. Right. Nothing crazy, nothing to a specific deal. Right. Nothing to a lump sum of money, just a percentage-based shit. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. Call Joe, and I say that to him. This was one of the first conversations I'd ever really been offended to Joe, and I've expressed this to him. He flipped the fuck out, called me insecure for wanting to have a contract, Mm -hmm. and said, don't call me about this shit. (laughs) I said, I'm insecure because I think we're all friends, and I want to have a, a contract since all these deals are coming in. So once right. the deals are finalized, the three of us don't have to say a fucking word to each other. We good. Right. We can continue on with this chemistry of this podcast. Right. But I'm insecure. Mm-hmm. I found that very odd. The same way he psychoanalyzes his friends. Mm-hmm. I thought that was the weirdest fucking thing on earth. Right. You just, understand that just now. Simply, you understand what that energy was about now. Though. This was just the first one. Okay. Got you. This was just the first one. Mm-hmm. Just said to myself, well, that's kind of weird. That's not insecurity. That's just how shit goes. I called before we had any deal to talk about ownership of this podcast. Mm-hmm. Joe said otherwise. We then all agreed we'll do profit partners, mm-hmm. which is fine. If you want to own the IP of this shit, it's, it wasn't even an argument before my lawyer even got in last shit. That right. was a simple Joe and I conversation. Mm-hmm. This your IP on your shit? Okay. But let's just be profit partners. Right. I'm not going to get paid off this podcast. Let's put some real sweat equity into the shit. If you want to mm-hmm. own the shit, cool. And I won't take away from everything Joe did prior to to start that podcast in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Won't take anything away from that. Never even came in on some, yo, I need to own this shit. Did I bring it up first? Of course. Right. Who the fuck wouldn't? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
It's a simple fucking thing. So then Spotify comes. Nick Rosenberg emails me, says, hey, I think Spotify is interested in doing some podcast stuff. <clears throat> I said, all right, bet. I'll put you on with Ian. At this point, I had already tried to bring up negotiating an actual contract prior so we could have avoided a lot of these things once a real deal came in. Right. But we had all agreed at that point verbally that it would just be a profit partner percentage. Mm -hmm. After expenses, three of us bust down this percentage. Mm -hmm. We all sit behind every expense, not even on some IP shit. Not once did my lawyer even bring up in that Spotify deal about IP or a back catalog or anything. So that's why this narrative gets a little fucking weird to me. Spotify comes. We actually have to get these contracts done because now real money is on the table. Right. Not, not what the title deal was, not what any other ad was, not what any other thing that I'm privy to. Mm -hmm. And I'm privy to. Let mm -hmm. me make that clear. Shit that I'm privy to. Right. So I hit my lawyer and I say, hey, let's get a contract. I'm not the smartest person in the world, never will claim to be. I'm not a lawyer, anything like that. But when you go into a negotiation with another lawyer, you start at the top with everything and then lawyers just start taking shit off of what's not going to happen. Correct. So, of course, a lawyer goes in and says, visuals, visuals now are YouTube. Okay, let's negotiate. Mm -hmm. They say no. We get into the negotiation. Lawyer goes back and forth with his lawyer. Joe and I speak on the side. One quick conversation. I never brought up YouTube money again. Mm -hmm. Not one time. Never came out of I my think, fucking mouth. I think it's important to, to highlight that. Never came out of my fucking mouth after a lawyer who did their fucking job mm -hmm. and negotiated <laughs> brought that shit up. I said, all right, bet. Okay, wait. So visuals are not off the table. Just YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Right. I'm never going to hear about YouTube from me again. Like, that's whatever. Visual does not just mean YouTube. YouTube is not the only place on earth that does, you, that does visual shit. But let me, let I'm me, fine with that. Let me stop you right there. The only reason why I had a problem with that was because the podcast, yes, did, was, was, was this, was the Joe Button channel active before the podcast? Yes. Mm. It was housing his music stuff, his videos, whatever. But we know what the sus subscription was before we started putting the podcast on there. Mm. As we started putting the podcast on, it became a weekly thing the subscription started to grow. Yeah, for sure. So that's the only reason why I had an issue with that because I, okay, cool. Yeah. You started this channel. No problem. But I know how YouTube, you get paid each video or so, each video. So here's the thing what that conversation did happen between the lawyers. Cause I, I know how the YouTube splits work and what, what that is. I'm, I'm familiar with it. Mm -hmm. with the, whatever side wants to say otherwise and on what I know and what I don't know. I know how that shit works. So my lawyer did say to them at one point, the percentage we have on audio, we don't have to do on that YouTube page. Mm -hmm. I think that shit, the last thing she said was as low as like 2% on that. Right. Like, Something. And on top of that, we're, we're sitting behind YouTube expenses, which cool. I, I see the bigger picture. I'm not f flipping about this shit at all. Nobody, this is 2021 shit. Nobody's being greedy. I'm saying back then, fuck, I never cared about the money on that shit, nor did I think YouTube had some crazy payouts at that time. Mm -hmm. It was just lawyers negotiating. That's what lawyers do. It's not annoying. It's a simple fucking thing. And this was the simplest contract on earth. Mm -hmm. This was. shit was very easy. It was, not, it was not some crazy back and forth. But according to him, we, didn't, we don't know what the contract. We're percentage based. Yes. Because I see the narrative is people think that we work for Joe and we're employees and we get a salary. That's not what it was. We have a percentage based contract. And also people. So we have to ask for accounting because how else will we know what we're supposed to get? We need yeah. to see the numbers. We get a percentage of whatever comes in for the podcast. I've seen a lot of people making, oh, LeBron wouldn't ask Jeannie Buss for the books for the Lakers. I'm like, LeBron is a salary. He don't give a fuck what the Lakers make as long as he makes 50 million at the end of the year. He doesn't give a fuck what the Lakers make. But if he was getting a percentage, if he was getting 30% a year, he would need to know what the Lakers made that year. That's just basic. basic so that's, that's just to kill that narrative of we were asking to see the books and we are employees and that, and that whole stupid narrative. We had a percentage-based contract. So you have to see the numbers so that you see everything that's coming in and everything that's going out. So we get to accounting, which is in our contract that was drawn up by Joe's lawyer, my lawyer, Maul's lawyer, super standard with profit. That becomes an issue. I want to make this clear throughout the rest of this response. 
that I asked always the simplest questions ever. This narrative of me being this difficult person or this person wiling out. I also have those emails that everyone speaks about where I'm being difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know how dumb you think I am, but accounting is not some shit you send in a five line item in the body of an email. Right. Just want to make that clear. Right. And when I asked for accounting, I didn't think asking for what's in your contract is such a fucking crazy thing to ask somebody, your friend or not. And on right. top of that, I sit behind the accounting expense. Right. I'm not going to say the company's name because right. it's not important. Right. But they're not a cheap company to hire. Right. They're expensive. And whether they do Joe's personal life, not my business, do not care at all. Nor am I trying to get into Joe's personal life or personal just business talking outside about, of the pocket. We're just talking about the contract that I we have. I sit behind that expense and it's in my contract. If I ask the simple fucking question of, hey, let me see the accounting. Because it's also supposed to be there quarterly by law. And that's, say, an, and that's another thing. Uh, it, you're supposed to, well, we're, we were supposed to get accounting quarterly. If you want to do it twice a year, that's cool, whatever. But I don't, I'm I fine think, with that. Right. But I think it don't that, even need to be quarterly. Right. But it I, could I think once a year, I think that I'm people, easy to work with. <laughs> right. People don't understand that this isn't something that just happened last month or March. Like we were trying to just get some type of accounting since 2019, maybe? No, way, way before that. I, I'll, All I can remember year, is 2019. Yeah, I'd have to look back. Like, we had tried to get some type of accounting. When we had the conversation outside of the studio, like, yo, we never got accounting. Like, what's up? What's going on? You know, we just need to see what's going on with the numbers. And it, it's like every time it, it came to talk about accounting or business, it was always, you know, some negative energy coming from him. And that's telling to me. It's like, why are you getting so defensive when we're asking for something that's just protocol in business when you have a contract based off of profit percentages and all of that like th this is this is basic shit we're asking for and still by the way in the beginning when mo and i were asking because i initially asked and got back bodies of emails when it came to tour accounting uh spotify accounting whatever we was doing mm -hmm. which again was ne was not complaining in that type of sense or say just send over like the real shit when you get a chance like mm -hmm. i understand people who are working that was met with such tension every time i asked a simple question my naive ass, mm -hmm. nothing's wrong. Right. I'm taking accountability on that. Mm -hmm. I, nothing's wrong. But we took... I, we, I also, also want to make that clear because that became a narrative, even though it is later on in what I want to get to. I don't think anyone's a thief. We never said I that. Th I don't think anyone's stealing. We, they, they, I never even they, said, hey... It was a simple... This is, <laughs> this is missing. Can we just have the accounting? At this point. Yeah, we just wanted the accounting. And I, I, from what I remember in 2019, when we finally got it, there was a quote unquote 400 and something thousand dollar mistake so i don't know what accountant makes a four hundred thousand dollar mistake so but okay let you know everybody nobody's perfect so i I'm, I'm putting that out there but it was just a little weird to me so end of 2019 yes you are correct in that timeline end of 2019 is when we got the excel sheet accounting they went from the body of the email and then just gave me an excel sheet with a few more line items and my high school diploma asked before I sent it to my accountant, which also is standard business. You're not offending your friends. This is just how shit works. I'm not calling right. anyone a thief. Right. People have accountants not because people are thieves, right. just because of that. Right. They have them because they need to monitor, monitor their fucking money. Right. I find something immediately. Mm -hmm. And I don't get disrespectful because I understand people make mistakes. And nor do I think people are stealing. That's my man. I love him. I don't think he's stealing from me. Right. This is some shit we doing. And I know Joe got a lot of other shit going on. I got a lot of other shit going on. You got a lot of other shit going on. Mm -hmm. People make mistakes. Right. Nor do I, and by the way, nor do I think Joe did the accounting. Right. The people that was hired to do it, did it. Mm -hmm. So I send that back. I say, hey, this appears to be a mistake. If I'm wrong, let me know. Mm -hmm. They come back and say, this, this, this big accounting company, which I will not say, mm -hmm. said, you're right. That's a mistake. Yeah. We were wrong. Mm -hmm. I say, okay, cool. Then I watch Joe say, <laughs> in a very condescending, sarcastic tone. Roy came to me and said, it's not that I don't trust you, it's that I don't trust wealth management. Oh, he said the name, so I can say it. Mm -hmm. Fam, yeah, I don't care how condescending you say that. And it, and it contradicts the fuck what you were saying. I never thought you were stealing. Right. I'm trying to understand what the fuck they're doing over here, because mm -hmm. this is incorrect. Right. And I, and I sit behind this expense. Mad more simple. importantly, more importantly, Mad I'm simple. paying for this, right. And on top of that, there should already be podcast accounting. Mm-hmm. 
you saying everyone has to run and do all this and it's, you're taking away from the overall goal but like fam i'm just asking what's in the contract <laughs> your your lawyer if you should know your all right you should know your contract the same way you're saying that to me if this was going to be an issue you should have told your lawyer that you did not agree on accounting right yeah your law your lawyer agreed to accounting mm-hmm a body of an email and an Excel spreadsheet that people punch numbers into is not accounting. I don't care what you say. As a profit partner, that's not how it it's works. It's not accounting. I've talked with every lawyer and accountant I possibly fucking could have because I didn't want to be wrong on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't, listen, I'm new to this the same way we all were new to this. Mm-hmm. We've all run business shit outside of this, but this is a new thing, especially to the degree of money that the three of us have gotten from it. Right. This is a new thing. Right. So I went back and double checked because I don't even want to accuse my man that right, maybe I'm wrong because everything I've done has been through ledgers. Quick it was books, never no everything. accusations. Ever. It, it was Not never. Once. It was never. He was the one that that brought that to the table. Like, you know, y'all are trying to paint me a certain way. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, we're just saying that we've we received accounting okay. and then there was a four hundred and something thousand dollar quote unquote mistake. And after that, we never got accounting again. So I'm just like, all right, so what the fuck is going on? Like, is the mistake fixed? Can we get the updated version of accounting? Like, nothing. So wealth management hits me, says, hey, yeah, we made a mistake. We're correcting the mistake. Here you go. I said, okay, bet. I talk with Joe. I talk with Ian. Honestly, can't remember. About a better strategy to go about doing this. From Rip, I've always been the one on trying to do a better strategy with going about these things because I've noticed, and I'm and at this point, not mad at it, I've just noticed anytime I ask a very simple question, I met with so much anger and tension off like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So my accountant gets on with wealth management. My lawyer gets on with wealth management. They even talk about, yo, just come down. We'll open shit up. You guys could look at it. I wasn't even going to go. Why would I go? I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my accountant can go. Mm-hmm. Just to get the, the regular shit, because maybe they have a lot going on, and maybe my accountant can just look at it and be like, all right, bet. That's the end of 2019. Pandemic hits. Who gives a fuck? No, we had a, we had a talk. No, because we can't skip over this. We had a talk before the pandemic hit about accounting again. And this was right after Cole passed away, and we were outside the studio. And he was the first, because now I'm seeing this narrative that we're auditing him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the first.